Okay, fantastic. So I believe I can see some names. I can see some names. Uh, some of you guys are actually members of the Forex Mastery program. Some of you guys are from my Telegram group. Um, I'd like to say a special thank you to every single one of you here today. Um, it's not easy being a trader, right? A lot, a lot of you guys are probably having issues with your trading or are losing money. You know, I, I understand the journey because I was once in your position as well. Like starting off in the Forex market can be quite tough. I'm not even going to lie. Trying to trade the Forex market can be quite tough, especially if you don't, especially if you don't have a systematic approach to the market, especially if you don't have um, a holistic understanding of how the Forex market works. The, the people I usually feel sorry for are, are the people who keep jumping from strategy to strategy to strategy, you know? Uh, I have these videos on, on Facebook that I always publish, especially the ads that we run, where I'm always telling people that indicators don't work. And guys, if you see the comments, the comments that we get from, from me saying that indicators don't work are absolutely crazy. I literally have people who are fighting me, telling me that I'm, what I'm saying is rubbish, that signals work, indicators work. I'm like, literally people are coming with all kinds of indicator names, all kinds of indicator strategy names, morning days, afternoon window, London session. They have all kinds of names. And the truth is I've tested most of those strategies. You know, they just don't work. So the truth behind trading is, it's not about having that strategy that works. It's about having an understanding of the flow of the market. I'm gonna be teaching you guys, um, showing you guys how to do that here. I'm gonna be just doing my analysis, what I feel the market is going to do next. Um, very simple, very basic, very straightforward. Somebody said I blew my account twice. I'm very sorry about that. Honestly, if I could give you the money back, I would, um, but, it's just the way the game goes. You need to have a very holistic understanding of the market. And that's exactly why I put together the course. I see a lot of people, not a lot of people, but we have a, a small percentage of people who are saying that, oh, okay, the course is probably too, you know, it's probably too, it, it's, it didn't give them what they were kind of like looking for. And I want to use this avenue to explain what the course, the reason why I put together the course. The reason why I put together the course is I'm not going to have a course of 50 different videos where I'm teaching you what a pip is, where I'm teaching you what a candlestick is, what I'm teaching you what the definition of Forex is. If you don't know what a candlestick is, what a, what a pip is, there's an ebook that shows you that I'm not going to spend my time. Like that's the, that's the first thing you learn in your first week of trading. If you don't know what a pip is, or the definition of forex that I, I can't really help you. Think about it. If you don't know the definition of forex or what a pip is, I like to speak to traders who are who have tried and are struggling. Okay, you. The, the truth is, I like to speak to people who are struggling because anytime somebody tries something and they fail, they fail, they fail. When I speak to them and I teach them, they're more attentive. Okay, they are more hungry to learn and ultimately they get better results because they've tried, tried, tried and now they finally have an answer to their questions as opposed to somebody who is fresh. Of course, we're gonna to put together a course for the people who are absolutely new. I just realized that a lot of people don't know anything about trading. So put together a course, but the, what I like to do, like the basic stuff, IML will teach you the basic stuff. No, like I don't like IML, but IML, that's what they teach. All these phony seminars you go to, all these phony webinars you go to, they teach you the basic stuff. Okay, this is what a moving average is. Da, da, da. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to tell you this is how to trade the goddamn forex market, right? That's what I'm here to do. If you want to learn preliminary information, like I said, from the forex mastery, there is a um, an ebook there. That ebook that I put on the Forex Mastery program was the ebook that I read when I first started learning how to trade. This was maybe eight years ago, nine years ago, 2011, 2012 ish. It was about 
Yes, the real deal. Yeah. So that's the e. That's the same ebook that I that I used that I read that made me understand what the pip is, what trend lines are. Even on the forex mastery program, I still try and introduce you guys to the basic tool that I like to use. But the most important aspect of the forex mastery is that part where I speak about strategy development, right? Where I speak about top-down analysis. Where I I literally have recordings from. I literally have recordings from previous one-to-one -one session that I have. You want to watch that over and over and over and over again because that will literally help guide your trading. That is that is the juice. That is the juice. And we're also seeing um, exactly the course is. Not, thank you very much. The course is not for beginners, but Baby Pips is excellent for that. I'm not going to go. Like, Baby Pips is free resource. What I'm giving you is nine years worth of experience. Baby Pips will never give you that. So I've been able to give you the beginner's guide. You read that and then you carry on to the program. And then obviously I have content on the Forex Mastery that I put, that I, that I got from my YouTube channel. And obviously we're getting people say, oh, I have, um, I could have watched this stuff for free on your YouTube channel. Guys, First of all, it's my content. I'm going to put whatever I want to put on my course, right? And the reason why I put some YouTube content, my, my YouTube content, the reason I put my YouTube content on my course is you have to understand that I broke it down into different modules and they have to flow. So if I feel there's a particular video that I've done before that's on YouTube, that is going to help you complete that circuit of information, that circuit of knowledge, I'm going to put it there so that it flows, right? So, um, like I said, the course is absolutely amazing. And I was actually on holiday for the past two weeks. I'm back now. I will be updating the course. I actually want to add the module that talks about market manipulation, explain it in detail. Um, and I'm going to put that on the course as well, how you can, how you know, where, how to identify where the market makers are, going, how to identify where, when the markets are, market makers are going to stop you out trader psychology and just basic stuff that I've learned over the years. I'll keep on updating it. Um, you have nothing to worry about. I'm going to keep pouring out my information when it comes to Forex and stuff like that. Anyways, I just, that was just on my mind and I just felt the need to let that out so that you guys were all on the same page, right? So um, for those of you guys who don't have the Forex mastery, I suggest you go grab it. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it's it's literally me just teaching you guys how to trade the way I trade. Okay, the, the, the quality of the life is fluctuating, right? So it's just me basically teaching you guys how to analyze the way I analyze the market, how to enter the way I enter. And the truth is, that's exactly how I trade, right? So that's a very fantastic resource. It's just 99 bucks. But that's not why we're here today. We're not here to talk about Forex Mastery. We're here to talk about... Um, the topic for today is five things you need to know before you get into a trade. Um, <clears throat> so that's exactly what I want to talk about um, before I went off on my rant. But before I go off on, uh, before I get into the nitty gritties of today, don't forget to grab your version of Forex Mastery. Um, let me just first of all say hi to everybody that's here. I can see Mr. Benjamin Fure. Shout out to you. I can see Chris Atang. This name, I always see this name. On every single webinar I have, shout out to you. I've seen your comments on Facebook. You're always supporting the brand. You're always supporting this movement of me trying to help people make money on the internet. You're always supporting this movement of me trying to teach people how to realistic, extra, realistically extract profits from the market. So shout out to you, Chris, Mr. Emmanuel Babalola. Shout out to you. I know that name. Probably send me a message on Telegram. I have a very good memory. If, I, if you send me a message, I definitely know you. Mr. Ernest, Mr. Ifyok, Mr. Ifani Kelvin, Mr. Ikech Puawo, shout out to you. Um, Isma Bahafid. Now, Mr. Isma, I think um, you are on the Digital Wealth Program, right? If I'm not mistaken, one of them. I think I know you. Uh, hi, Veronica. Nice to see you on the call. Uh, shout out to you. I just want to quickly say hi to everybody. Welcome, you guys. Yeah, Isma, I remember you very well. Mr. Kilichi, shout out to you. Michael Sunday, Michael Silvasson. I think you are also on the Forex Mastery as well. Um, actually, if you're on the Forex Mastery, please, all the questions you have, shoot them here. I want to answer Mr. Sheriff, Mr. Taiwo, oh, my buddy. Shout out to you, bro. 
Shout out to you. Shout out to you. This guy is my brother. Mr. Taiwo, shout out to you. Hope you're doing good. Hope the family's doing well. Um, Mr. Timmy Prigodif, I know you just came on the Forex Mastery. Don't worry, I see a report of everybody that joins. I like to know all my students firsthand, right? Um, Veronica obviously is on the Forex Mastery as well. Let me see. Mr. C. Siwife, uh, I think that name is a bit South African, right? Siwife? Siwife? Can't pronounce your name, sorry. I'm new as well, Abdul Aziz Mohammed. All right, thank you. So we've got 50 people, 50 people on the call right now. And yeah, so we're gonna get straight, we're gonna get right into uh, the nitty gritties of stuff. I know I said the topic for today is five things you want to know before you get into the market, but really and truly, what I wanna talk about is some analysis, right? I wanna analyze the market. I've been seeing some really nice moves. Um, lately, I haven't really been trading. I'll tell you guys a little secret. I haven't traded since, um, I haven't traded in the last, um, yeah, shout out to you, Sheriff. I haven't traded in like, and I'm gonna be, you know, I'm a very honest guy, I'll tell you, I haven't traded in like two, three months. Be why? Because I just haven't seen those opportunities that suit my strategy of trading. So I'm sitting on my hands, I'm not going to, Guys, the amount of money that I trade, um, I'm not going to risk any even 0.1% of that capital trading a market that is just confused, right? So that's exactly why I decided to sit on my hands all this while. And that's why I haven't really had a webinar with you guys. But thank goodness, anytime you see that I don't have, I don't come and give you guys a webinar or content, just know that the market is not exactly trending there's no clear flow of the river. So I'm literally sitting on my hands. And for those of you guys who do not know, I'm just gonna quickly chip this in. Forex trading is not my only source of income. Um, it's very important for Forex traders to have. And this is the kind of things that a lot of people, like for instance, IML will never tell you this. It's always important to have an additional source of income when it comes to trading. Why? Because, and I'm not saying do network marketing, right? Network, anything, any business that says, go and bring four people, count me out. Say, sign up, go and bring four people that will bring four, pe four people. I'm not interested in that business model. That's not the kind of um, extra source of income I'm talking about. For those of you guys who do not know, I uh, sell products on the internet. I have e-commerce stores, and I also do webinars about that as well. So once the market is not trending, I focus on that. And once the market starts to trend, I come back on Forex market because what this helps me do is this, right? <clears throat> when the market is not exactly favorable, what usually tends to happen is people who are stuck on Forex, who are always, who always want to keep pressing and trying to bring out what doesn't exist from the market, eventually you start bringing out losses. Why? Because once the market goes into a period of consolidation, you know, it's just, it's giving you, please, can I have a copy of the recording after this class? My internet is so bad. No worries, um, it's gonna be on my YouTube channel, definitely. Uh, Sarah, where's Sarah? Sarah should be on the corner, give me a sec. Obviously, where's Sarah? Let me see if she's not here. She just messaged me now. She's always here. Shout out to you, Sarah. Thank you for being on the call. Thank you for putting this amazing call together. Guys, if you don't know who she is, uh, that's Sarah, that is my marketing director. She makes sure everything move smoothly and then for those of you guys who signed up on the program you've probably spoken to her um, thinking it was me she does that all the time you think it's me but it's actually her so yeah back to what i was saying so um if you keep trying to force something out of the forex market that is not there you end up with losses so i usually always advise that forex traders have an additional source of income that's why you always see me on my youtube channel literally my YouTube channel is divided into two segments. We have the Forex trading and we have the e-commerce trading. The volume is poor for mine. I don't know if I'm the only one experiencing this. Somebody's saying, please, sir, Dapo, can you start, please? What do you think I'm doing? You know, people are just, just so fucking rude. What do you think I'm doing? Do you think I'm playing? Can you guys hear me clearly? If you can hear me clearly, volume is all right. Who's this guy that says I should start? This guy said things I'm saying nonsense. I'm gonna shut up now. This guy is literally telling me to shut up. I should shut up what I'm saying and go, go straight to the forex. Can you imagine? People are so fucking inconsiderate, but that's all right. I'm gonna ignore him, right? So 
you can imagine swears like you can imagine i'm trying to explain guys let me tell you something about life anything you want to do especially when it comes to making money right everything is in the mindset you want to know like you want to see the charts now now i can give you all the information i have about trading if you don't have the right mindset you will still fail take it from me i'll give you everything if you don't have the right mindset that i'm trying to explain to you right If, if you don't have the right mindset about how, what to do, when, because the truth is, guys, there are times when the market is jammed, jammed. And if you don't know that that is a natural thing, if you don't know what to do when the market is not cooperating, you will keep on trading till you blow your account. So psychology and mindset is so key. But somebody is here telling me to shut the fuck up and go straight to the charts. Okay, I'm not doing any charts again. Come on, beat me. Come on, beat me. Where are you? Where is he? Where is he? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. So, back to what I was saying. So, usually when the markets are not trending, um, I usually like to focus on other aspects of things. So, same thing for you guys as well. You can have, you know, your job. You can have, that's why I always advise for traders to have an extra source of income. You can have your job. You can even be a student. Once the market is not trending, once you see that the market is not cooperating, kindly leave it alone. Yeah, kindly leave it alone and do other things. People think that the, if they're not trading, they're losing out on something. You're not, the market... The market was here before you. It is here while you're here, and it's going to be here even 10, 30, 40, 50 years after you're gone. There's always going to be trading opportunities. So I always advise, if the market is not cooperating with the way you want it to be right now, leave it and go and do other things. I have students that I've done one-to-one -one coaching with, and if there's anything they can probably remember me saying is, do you have a job? Yes. Do you have your family? Yes. If the market is not cooperating, focus on that. Once the market starts to trend, you can come back. This way, you're not putting pressure on your trading. And guys, you have to understand that Forex is an investment vehicle. It's not a nine to five hustle, okay? Uh, it's not a nine to five hustle. So um, I'm gonna dive into the charts pretty soon, which is about now. Let's go and do some analysis. Let's see what exactly is happening. I will show you the pairs that are very confusing at the moment. There's no harm in that, I'll tell you. This pair is not exactly giving us a clear direction. It's very confusing, stay out. I'll show you the ones that look like they're about to actually start giving us some money. Don't worry, I got some money making moves, right? Don't worry about that, I got you guys. I got you guys, all right, cool. So yes, um, I think I'm gonna turn off my camera now. Let me just see, I can see some questions popping up on the right. I'm, I'm no longer comfortable using my phone. Exactly. If, you, if you're trading from your phone, it's not exactly the best because you can't exactly see in my phone. You can't exactly see that much from your phone. Um, so you want to get yourself a laptop. Definitely. Definitely. Even your tablet, right? Um, so I just want to make sure the volume is okay. You guys, if you can hear me clearly, just type Y in the question box. If you can hear me quite clearly, go ahead and type Y in the question box, please. If you can hear me quite clearly, why? Okay, Michael says why, all right, that's enough for me. So, all right, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you guys, which is about now. Fantastic. Uh, where's Sarah? Oh my days, that's a mistake. Um, no. I clicked the wrong button and now, give me a sec guys, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties. I clicked on somebody to allow talk and now I can't seem to SD. Uh... Okay, so I think I've, I made a little, error somewhere here, um, but that's fine. We can go ahead and... Yeah, with the title, if you can hear me, um, hey buddy, what's up? So I think I made a little mistake. I enabled you to talk, so could you quickly mute your microphone, please? So that everybody doesn't hear you. <laughs> 
I, I will, could you kindly mute your, your, your volume, please? Could you please mute it off? Yeah, I can't step out. Sorry, guys, give me a second. I'm going to fix this pretty soon. Um, Taiwo, do you want to disconnect from the, from the meeting and join back in, please? That would be great. I mistakenly clicked on allow you to talk. So I think you have pretty much occupied my entire screen. I could just see your face right now. So please, could you kindly leave and rejoin us back again? I don't know how to, how to get you off my screen now. Uh, participants. All right, he's gone. Thank you, Taiwo. All right, cool. So, all right, fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna go straight to my screen right about now, right? So let's see what I've won. what's happening. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening on the sharks? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Um, expand this. Move this down here. All right, fantastic. So I believe you guys can almost see my screen. This is GBPUSD. Um, GBPUSD in the past literally gave us a lot of profit. If you scroll back to my YouTube channel, if you watch, if you've attended previous webinars, we made a killing shorting GBPUSD all the way here. We took it back up here and we dropped it up all the way down here again. So at the moment, on a high time frame weekly, GBPUSD has given us what I like to call this is pretty much this is pretty much a triple bottom. And at the moment, GBPUSD is pretty much in a range, right? So we're pretty much ranging somewhere about here. So Usually when it comes to ranging markets, because I don't have a clear direction, I usually like to stay out of the market. This is one of my favorite pairs, but at the moment I can't really identify, I can't really identify its direction. So I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna try and focus on pairs at least. See guys, let me explain something to you. The easier it is for you to analyze, the more, the, the more money you're going to make. There's no pride in trying to decode the most complex, analysis there's no pride you just lose money right focus on the most easiest markets to analyze so i'll start off with AUD USD, right and i'll explain to you what i'm looking at at the moment right so for those of you guys who don't understand how i like to trade i'm gonna break it down for you from do a quick top-down analysis on AUD USD so that you guys have a fair idea of what exactly is happening right so for for me, when it comes to forex trading, right, I like to always start from the monthly time frame. Always like to come on the monthly time frame. First things first, you want to come on the monthly time frame. Okay, on AUD USD, from what I could see, there was a clear downtrend. Sideways collapsed. Sideways collapsed. Sideways, and we collapsed. Um, for those of you guys who've been following me the longest, I remember when I did an analysis on AUD USD. Uh, I called this sell somewhere around here, and then we literally banked about a thousand pips ish on AUD USD. That was huge. <laughs> that was huge. It's a lot of money we made on AUD USD, right? So we made a lot of money on AUD USD. Why? Because it was very simple and straightforward. The monthly time frame kept on kept on pointing lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Lower lows, we were somewhere around here. I said to myself, as long as we put in a lower low, lower high, we're definitely going to come in and put in another lower low, right? So, and the market was trending, trading somewhere around here. So if I know that the characteristics of a downtrend is lower lows and lower highs, and then the market is trading somewhere around here, I knew for sure that the next level target was going to be here. If you don't understand this analysis, check my previous YouTube videos. I did this exact analysis and everybody swooped up between 700 to 1,400 pips. Now I was expecting, and you know the way I trade, the reason why I like to trade on the monthly time frame is because it allows me to predict about 1,000 to 2,000 pips into the future. Literally, all we did was we said to ourselves, okay, this market wants to come lower, we're trading about here, this is our next level target. I'm just gonna look for a sell opportunity on a lower time frame here. We found selling opportunities, we click sell, we already knew that the market was going to come here. Why? Because we had our monthly targets here. How did we put this level here? Very simple and very straightforward. Look left, look to the left. This, if you want to ever know where the market is going to go next, look to the left. You can see it about here. 
This is how you plot your major levels. After we break here, I said we're going to come here. Why? Because this is next level target. And AUD USD loves to respect round numbers. So I look for the next level target that is in confluence with the round number. Ideally, ideally it's supposed to be here. Ideally, it's supposed to be here, somewhere at the bottom here. But this is 0.486. Showing your screen. This is 0.486. Um, I look for the closest round number, which was 0.500, right? So once you're able to analyze on very high time frames, I'll tell you what it is, guys. This is the hack. This is the hack to trading, okay? At least my style of trading, right? <clears throat> you want to come and you see those analysis you do on lower time frames that only give you 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 pips. Try and do those analysis on a higher time frame. Why? Because if your higher time frame analysis plays out, it will play out to 1,000 pips. What am I trying to say here, in essence? This was a trend. This can easily be a one hour time frame. You see a nice trend, collapse, fall down, collapse, fall down, pull back up, and we're about to fall down again. And you know, in one hour, okay, this is a trend. We want to sell somewhere around here for us to fall lower. This could be a one hour time frame, right? However, I like to do this kind of analysis on a monthly time frame because why? If my monthly time frame analysis plays out, I know that instead of instead of me just catching only fifty pips or you know catching just a hundred pips, I know that the the take profit for this entire trade is one thousand pips. So what I do is I will analyze on a higher time frame, and once my monthly uh, I'll have an imaginary entry. Let me explain to you guys this. Have an imaginary entry. So let's say my my, my if I was trading on a one hour time frame, as we collapse, we fall, we collapse, we fall, we collapse. Um, sorry, we, we, we consolidate, we fall, we consolidate, we fall, we consolidate. Let's say for my one hour strategy is to get in on the break of this counter trend line for us to start heading lower, right? Now, this kind of setups always form, this is a triangle formation. This kind of setups always form on lower time frame. You guys see them, you guys trade them, and then they end up fucking you up, right? <clears throat> and I'll explain to you why that happens in a bit. So this could have been a one hour time frame, but I would not really want to trade this on a one hour time frame. Why? Because I'd rather come and trade on a monthly time frame because I know that if this market was to trigger my imaginary entry, which it's supposed to be around here, I know that ideally this market wants to start heading down for another move to the downside, okay? If it was a one hour time frame, I'll be looking to catch maybe between 50 to 100 pips. But because it's a monthly time frame, I know that if it takes off, bah, 1,000 pips. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Let me take that again. If it was a one hour time frame and you saw it set up, one hour time frame set up max will give you is 100 pips. So I will take that same ideology, that same analysis mentality, and I'll come on a higher time frame. And I'll do that same analysis on, for, as in I'll use that same strategy and analyze on a higher time frame, and I'll wait for a, a higher time frame to want to trade in that same kind of pattern, and then once where I'm supposed to execute the trade, which is ideally going to be here. I mean, for the one hour execute here. Once the execution plays out, and I, and I know that okay, this market has confirmed to me that he wants to head in this direction. Now, if I'd done this on a one hour, I would have entered the trade and I've been looking to take out between 70 to 100 pips. But because I did this on a monthly time frame, and I, monthly time frames are bigger, right? The, the, the moves are bigger. I'm now able to anticipate one whole thousand pips into the future. So once the imaginary entry is triggered, I can now come to a lower time frame and now look for an entry on a smaller time frame that is in confluence, that is flowing in the same direction as my overall trade. I'll take that again. This overall monthly AUD USD, literally this setup is a sell setup. Mm -hmm. So I'll click, I, my imaginary should be sell. So ideally it's a sell, right? Done. But I won't sell on a higher time frame. I don't sell on the monthly time frame. I only come and identify the flow of the river. I come and, and, and identify massive setups on a higher time frame. What direction does this monthly time frame want to flow in? 
So it has told me it wants to flow south. That's all I need. Thank you. I keep it in my pocket. I keep it in what? My pocket. Keep it in your pocket. Done. You go over to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where I like to plot all my levels. Done. So what the weekly time frame helps me do is it tells me, okay, um, this is these are the major areas, these are the zones. So I see a lot of comments. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about message. Um, sir, please tell everybody I'm live on the Telegram group. Tell everybody I'm live on the Telegram group, please. So back to what I was saying. This is uh, don't worry. I'll do some analysis for you guys. I'll save the best for last. But like I said, it's all about mindset, man. Everything in this life is about mindset. You have to, you know, it's um, people are just throwing money out of the window. Literally, they're, they're losing so much money. Brokers are making so much money. Guys, I think the next thing, the next venture I want to go into is to buy a brokerage firm because it's like the brokers are making all the money. Because straight out, they don't want to listen. Man. They don't want to listen. I'm running ads on Facebook. I'm telling people indicators don't work. They're abusing my ancestors. Literally, somebody even abused my mother three days ago in the comments because I say indicators don't work. But you don't see no indicators. Yeah, I'm predicting 1,000 trips into the future. I don't need no freaking indicator. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, analyze on a higher time frame. Weekly time frame, set your levels. And then, because we have that imaginary entry on a higher time frame, it has executed, this has executed south. Guys, these are one whole month candles, one whole month. So you have time. You have time for your one hour to set up like this, that cell. So what you now do is you come on a one hour time frame, come on a lower time frame, not one hour, four hour. The reason why I don't encourage one hour is because one hour have a lot of fake outs. You can literally see a candle, a red candle, heavily red candle, strong red candle enter the trade. By the time the candle closes, you just see only the week. The candle has gone back to close up here. With it has it has gone to close up here with your money. Okay, a strong red candle you saw. You click sell. So why I like to use four hour is and I like to use four hour because four hour is is considered a reliable time frame. And I also like to wait for a four hour close. So what I'll do is in a, for example, a trade like this was, I did this analysis and I saw that my imaginary entry had been triggered. So now I have no atom iota of doubt in my mind that this market wanted to go down. In fact, from here to here is 1,800 pips. So I already knew that AUD, that's how I'm able to come and I'm telling you guys, AUD, USD, or this pair wants to go, just like I did for gold. For those of you guys who've been with me for the longest, I caught gold 5,000 pips into the future. I think I'm joking, check my Instagram, my, my YouTube channel. Five thousand, we banked, ouch. We banked 5,000 pips on gold, why? Simple, higher time frame analysis. Obviously I speak about this a lot more in detail on the Forex Mastery program where I teach you guys how to do all this in detail. But the ideology, the mindset is the same, higher time frame analysis, okay? So you do, I, I did my analysis on a higher time frame and then come on the four hour. I will now look for a setup on a four hour time frame that is in confluence with the flow of the river. This flow of this river is flowing south. I would only want to look for selling opportunities. And guess what? Once I execute that trade, okay, I hold on to my trade. Why? Because if I'd only done the analysis on four hour, I would have been too short-sighted and I'd have been looking for maybe 100 pips, 120 pips, take profit. But because I had come to, I had come to Google Maps, Google Maps had told me there's traffic here, turn right. Google Maps had estimated my, my destination. It had told me this is where I'm going to, so I already knew, okay? I'm going to 1,800 pips into the future, Hold your trade, okay? Go left, go right. There's traffic here. This place is red. This place is orange. You know, this place is blue. You know, this place is faster. This this is where all these key levels come in to tell you that, okay, there's going to be support here. When you get here, take some of your money out. So, guys, this is the mindset that I need you guys to have. It's not difficult. Leave IML alone. IML will wreck you. That monthly subscription you guys are always paying. You buy the forex mastery once, you have it for life. Leave that monthly subscription alone. It will kill you. 
I was telling, I remember when IML started, they wanted to recruit me. Actually, they, they had not even started off properly. They were still building up the network, the framework of the, of the industry. And the, the owner of uh, IML, Chris Terry, I met him in London and we sat down and we had a meeting. And the only reason I didn't join IML, and I'll be very honest with you guys, because I mean, I speak very well. Like I, you know, I, I trade them, I'm an exceptional trader. The guy, they, they wanted me so badly so that I can obviously handle their Africa outreach and all that. I asked them one question. I said, what are, you, what are your plans for trader education? And he was telling me, uh, talking left, talking right. I could immediately, I could tell that they did not really care about the traders. They cared more about their bring four people to bring four people to, to, uh, to, uh, to sign up for people to sign up for people. They only cared about their monthly subscription. And it was at that point, believe you me, was when I turned my back. Now, I would have probably made a lot more money working with IML because by now I'd have been a very top leader, probably number three or number four in the hierarchy of things. But I'm so glad that I decided to stick to my truth because trader education is very important. I asked him, what are your plans? Because I was a young guy in Nigeria hustling. I was 17 when I came into this market, no education. Everybody just wanted to eat my money. Okay, I was once in that position, I cried because of this market. So I made a vow to myself. I said, you know what, once I get a hang of this shit, I'm gonna give it to as many people as I can. Okay, a lot of before now, I used to give out information for without for free. Still do till now, I mean, this is free. But obviously, as time went on, my team advised me, said, sir, you need to obviously put a price to this information. If not, people will not take you seriously. And at the, at the end of the day, we made it absolutely very cheap. So yeah, enough of my rant. Back to the analysis, right? So for AUD USD, I've told you what my mindset was. You know, I got in, this was where my imaginary trade triggered around here. When around here, I came, looked for a four-hour setup, looked for a sell setup. We rode it all, all the way down here, took some of my money out here. The market came underneath here. I actually have this particular analysis on my, my um, YouTube channel where we did the analysis from here all the way down here. If I calculate roughly, this is from 0.70 to 0.600, from 0. this is a thousand pips. Check very well, call the sell trade. Everybody ate really nice. Now, moving forward, <clears throat> I need to make this snappy before my computer goes off. Moving forward, <clears throat> sorry about that, moving forward. So. The issue now with AUD USD is the flow of the river was pointing downwards. So I was looking for only selling opportunities. So every time we pulled back, I was looking for, you know, it, because I wanted, to be honest, I, I thought this market was gonna come in here and collapse here like this. I thought we were gonna come and, and do this. This was the plan. I'd done analysis about this, blah, blah, blah. but I said, I said, guys, don't do nothing until we bounce off here with a red, bearish engulfing candle, then we know that this level has held, the flow of the river is still pushing strong, the current is still favoring the downside. However, that didn't happen. We came here, tested it. I thought this would be a fake out. Monthly came and closed. Not only did monthly come and close, monthly has even brought a fresh whole green candle and has closed above here. So what I can tell you categorically, guys, is the flow of this river it's about to change if, if it has not already changed, okay? So what I've done is I've drawn as many trend lines as I can. So I, draw, I drew a trend line, I've drawn this one to ensure, because at the time, the market was still trading inside of between this trend line and this trend line. I didn't want a situation whereby I give a call and say, okay, it's time to start buying, whereas the market was still on this trend line area. But as you can see, we have cleared it very clearly. So now that we've been able to clear it very clearly, I, I now have enough confidence to say that yes, AUD USD is not exactly looking bearish anymore. Just give me a second, let me draw one more trend line to see if, because I'll tell you something guys, <clears throat> it, a, a, a market can look like, yes, it's prepared to start going in a new direction. Whereas there can be one trend line that you did not even realize was even there, is what the market is going to, was going to go and test, you touch it and just, fall with your buy position. So I want to eliminate, ensure that I eliminate all of that. Do we have any, you know, if I draw this trend line properly, it comes all the way to the outside. How do you draw a proper trend line? Very simple and straightforward. Look for the two most outermost points, as you can see, 
one, two, and let it slide. Don't come and start drawing, bringing it too close, too close. This is no longer an effective trend line. You want to put it out. Look at what I've done, okay? This is the top, and this is the next most significant point here. So I'll just ensure that my it touches it, the wicks of the candle, very nicely done, and that's it. This is a trend line. If it's not touching the rest of the thing, that's fine. Come and continue from where you stopped. Draw it like this. Okay. If you also want to check another trend line, uh, you can draw this like this. But you don't really need all these trend lines. This, this is too much, this is distraction. So I'm gonna delete all this. Um, and I'll tell you the most effective, the most, the, the most effective trend line that I'm looking at, which happens to be this one. The reason why I decided to draw all those ones is I just wanted to be, you know, the way I trade is I'm an investigative trader. I'm an FBI trader. I like to investigate, check everything to make sure that we leave no stones on turns. You need to consider yourself a sniper, a pilot. You need to ensure that you leave no what stones on what turn. Check everything. Make sure before you go into, as in, because as I go into AUD USD now, if I'm going to say buy, or if I'm going to say it's going to go into an uptrend, the truth is I'm going to start shouting it. AUD USD, buy, 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 buy. So if I'm going to start shouting it, I need to be sure. Because you have a lot of wicked people on social media that like, ah, I knew that guy was fake. That guy is fake. He doesn't make money from trading. Look now, he said he told us to buy. You know, the market is going down. You know, so <laughs> you know how people talk. So I always have to be extra sure. And apart from people, people is doing by the way. I'm trading a lot of money uh, for myself and investors. So I need to ensure that if I'm going to say, yes, we're going to, start looking for buy opportunities. I need to ensure that there's no reason as to why, you know, we're not going to head in that, you know, that new direction that I'm talking about. Guys, I hope I'm not blabbing too much. Let's go, let's, let's, let's see if people are awake. Are you guys awake? Are you guys awake? Let's see, let me see some comments in the comments. You guys are awake, just say awake, say I'm awake. Just say I'm awake. Are you all awake, mate? You guys awake? You guys awake? You guys awake? Feeling you, boss. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Oh, you guys are awake. Fantastic. I didn't feel you guys. 100%. I'm feeling you guys. I think he's talking to you guys. I miss talking to you guys. Sarah, you awake? <laughs> are you sure you're awake, Sarah? All right, fantastic. Okay, so let's go back. Now, <clears throat> this is the flow of the river. Bam, bam. It's a staircase. Bam, 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 bam. Should be the staircase is supposed to continue like this. No, it's refusing to continue. I was expecting us to get here from another lower high. Okay, that's not happening. Now, not only have we failed to come and make a new lower high, it has come to also break a major trend line. <laughs> All right. So in that case, He's telling me, he's leaving me with no option than to tell, to, 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 I, to say we, we have officially, officially had a, have a change in direction. There's one last thing I need to check, my Fibonacci. Just need to ensure that, yes, we have cleared. We need to ensure that, yes, it's not how to draw it. This is how you draw it from top to bottom. As you can see, we have cleared the 0.5 and 0.6. The reason why I was, I was so adamant about a sell and I was so sure that we were actually going to stop here was because of the confluence. For those of you who are on the Forex Mastery program, I speak about strategy development, AKA confluence, AKA the Willis zone. This is the Willis zone where you have resistance pointing down, Fibonacci pointing down and trend line pointing down. This area significant and key. So I was expecting us to get here and turn and collapse here, but that didn't happen. No need to cry, it's fine. If that didn't happen, no need. What it's telling you is, I'm tired of going down. I'm tired, I want to go up. No, time to go up. All right, we want to go up, that's fine. So guys, all this gist I've just said you guys just now, we have arrived to one conclusion. AED USD is now looking what? Up. That's what the monthly has told us. Fantastic. So if we're looking up because of the fact that our levels are so amazing and so easy to use, easy to draw, I hear people talking about institutional level supply and demand that is a bullshit. So easy to draw these levels. Chapter what do I speak about? Dynamic areas of support and resistance. I speak about this on Forex Mastery Program. It teaches you how to draw these levels. I draw these levels in record two minutes, 60 seconds, and they, they catch. Look now, 
it will, it will be cash, don't worry. You can see the market came in here. I predicted this level before the, the market was still here. I said the market was going to turn around here, turn around here. Where are my loyal followers? You guys are here, you guys know now. We predicted 0.700 to 0.600. It, how did that plot? It's very simple. Came look left, join it here, done. No need to go and start buying any kittos, any spooky voodoo. Oh, I can give you one button click to plot your support and resistance with bullshit. So simple and straightforward. Now, because our dynamic areas of support are so reliable, I always say to you guys, the market flows from what one area, from one zone to another zone. We came from this zone, we came down here, we broke here. See, as we broke here, clearly, it still tested it before we came down here, magneted it, came here, tested it, broke down here, came here, it was here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost one year, the market was attached to this level, okay? See, we broke it, we still tested it before we came up. So what I'm trying to say in essence is the market moves from what zone to zone, okay? Zone to what zone. When we were coming down, we were going from zone to zone, from zone to zone. So now we've got from this zone, touch this zone, it's blown through this zone. I know this market very well. You want to touch this zone, you want to test it. If we can sustain, long story short, if we can sustain above this blue zone here, the next zone is where? The next zone is here now. Between 0.700 to 0.800, that's 1,000 pips. That's how you go about predicting 1,000 pips into the future. So this is why I was waiting for AUD USD to give me a clear direction, okay? Zone to what zone? So guys, it's very simple and straightforward. How would I take advantage of this kind of trade? Monthly has told me AUD USD was going down before, steps were going down. However, now we have now broken transmission. We're no longer doing the downward staircase. We have broken upward trend line and we want to start heading what up. Okay, we want to start heading up. We're taking out the most immediate resistance. The most immediate one after this one is this one. So we know that the market likes to go from zone to zone, from this zone to this zone, due to the difference of 1,000 pips. So this is what they call market analysis. We've analyzed the market. Now let's go into how can we now take advantage of this? Guys, I'm sweating. I am sweating. Shout out to all my Nigerian brothers, all my South African brothers, all my Ghanaian brothers, all my brothers from the UK. Shout out to you guys. I can see some people from Coventry. I can see some people from Coventry. Um, I can see some people from the, um, from the US as well. Shout out to every single one of you guys who are on this call right about now. Love every, love, love, love every single one of you. Amazing people you guys are. Okay, <clears throat> amazing people you guys are. Thanks for this opportunity, you're welcome. Now, uh, I don't need the trend line anymore because we're pretty much broken. So I'm gonna delete this, okay? So look at what we have in front of us. Look at what we got, mate. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, is this is exactly how my brain is going to act. This is how my brain is going to address this current market situation, right? Uh, I can see one trend on here. Give me, let me just play around with some lines. I'll get back to you guys shortly. Give me one second. Let me just play around with some lines. Just get AUD US is looking very linear. Very, very linear. You see, linear people like this. Be, 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 be careful. People that come and draw trend line like this guys in the sky. <laughs> come on, buy on this bounce. See this kind of buy on the bounce. Oh, it's 50 50. Buy on this bounce. Don't worry. So it'll go up small like this. Stop low straight. Great. Forex people. Forex make forex market makers. Bad people. Bad people. I know all of them. Bad people. Get people. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to play around with charts just to see what the market is trying to do at the moment. Okay, so that's fantastic. Um, so since we've cleared this region, very simple and very straightforward. We cleared this region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a a setup. You can see the candlestick formations are not looking for those of you who are in Forex Mastery program. You guys know I like to look for stuff like this. Okay, I like to look for a push up. I like to look for a, a nice consolidation. This is a bit too high. I like to look for decent consolidations like this. Okay. Okay, and then I like to now buy at this zone somewhere about here. Because when I buy here, my stop losses can come here and I can ride this entire up thrust to the upside, right? So what I'm waiting for now is for this market to actually pull back. I'm not sure 
I know AUD US that because of the because of the fact that I know the market likes to go from zone to zone. Obviously, you see the way we blew through this level. I know that you might want to come and you know just touch, massage the level, marinate. You know, these levels have egos. If you blow through them too fast, you start, you know, they'll start crying, you know, like women, you know, women, if you don't if you don't give them attention, they start crying, like, well, you don't talk to me. <laughs> so the market needs to go back and say, okay, I'll let me come and talk to you before I go to where I'm going to. So anytime you notice the market blows through a level, um, don't be in a hurry to get into a trade. For, don't be in a hurry to get into a breakout of either a support or a resistance trade. Why? Especially if we break out too fast. Why? Because the market just likes, to, it just needs to, it needs to, it's called, it's called, oh my God, Bridget, what's the, <laughs> women are not crying. I just got a message, somebody messaged me and said women crying here. Yeah. No, no, no. You know, I, I know I have love for all my women. I've got female traders here. Shout out to you guys. But, you guys know how you are, you know, you know, you just always have to give you guys attention, you know, if you can just start. Anyway, by the way, that's by the way. Back to what I was saying. So ideally, um, if we blow through a level too quickly, what usually tends to happen is the market always likes to come back to, you know, respect that level before it continues in its original direction. So what I would expect from AUD USD is for us to pull back into somewhere close about it, but I can see some form of a very funny looking this setup is not exactly the best setup setup no pure no pure at all no pure but let's we do have to work with what we have okay so i would like to see a pullback into this region one of these two either this yellow or this one uh this one okay i like to see a pull back into this region and then of course as we start to take off again don't buy inside, don't buy at the level here why because I promise you, even for the fact that the monthly has broken clear of this level and we're here, the market can still come back. Because don't, don't forget, we are going, this is the, a trend reversal. We are now telling, as in, the market has not 100% told us that it, it, it wants to reverse. So we want to attempt a trend reversal for the first time. So be careful, careful, wait for a bounce. As we want to start going up again, is where you want to now execute your trade. Don't trade on the level. Trade on the what bounce. Look for a four-hour bullish engulfing candle to the upside, and then feel free to buy. In other words, this guy can break down here and start coming all the way down here. So we have two scenarios here. Hmm? Two scenarios. First scenario is... Yeah, don't stress me, please. First scenario is this, we come in here, come in here, as we take off, feel free for a buy, stop losses come below here. Second scenario is this, if we break below here and we're now trading back down below here, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone back to being what? Bearish. Either way is cool. Don't, don't be too attached to your analysis. Hey, I've analyzed this fine analysis. No, it must work out. It doesn't work like that. Don't be attached to your bias. Allow the market to tell you what it wants to do, okay? So two things are going to happen. You come here, as you're about to take off, four-hour bullish engulfing, or daily, actually not four-hour, please. Daily bullish engulfing, engulfing close. Feel free to click a buy. The market will take you up to the upside. Or if we come down here and we close, I will expect to see something like this. Okay? Pull back here, back into this region. Don't forget, the market doesn't just blow through levels. You must always come and know. Feel it a little bit, and as we want to start coming back down here, you can now sell. Either way, we have 1,000 pips to either direction. So the onus is now on you as a trader. You know that you have the potential of making 1,000 pips in either direction. All you need to do at this point is just calm down. My ego brothers will say, Cherry, relax, wait. Wait for the market to you know, confirm to you in either direction. And then feel free to trade. Easy as that. Don't trade at the major levels. Wait for a bounce. Don't trade at the major levels. Wait for what a bounce. Okay. So guys, this is AUD USD in a nutshell. Um, I know by next week, um, to be honest, I'm favoring the upside. Let me not confuse you guys. I'm favoring the upside, but always have two scenarios at the back of your mind so that you're always prepared. I'm favoring the upside. What I'm going to be looking for is potential 
trades to the upside. All right, so you can get something like this. Okay, and then we can fire all the way to the up. So I'll wait for, um, you guys know how I like my entries to look like my, um, what's it called? Mm. Pullbacks, my retracements. You know how all my retracements look like. My Forex Mastery students, you know what I mean. You know, if, if you don't know what I mean, check the entries and exit module, you'll see. Also check the one-to-one -one classes that I had, the recorded sessions at the bottom of the Forex Mastery program. Uh, is at the bottom right there where I was explaining um, to to a student as to how I like my entries to look like and stuff like that. So it will paint a better picture for you guys. So AUDUSD, it, it's not ready. It's not it's not hundred percent ripe yet. Seventy five percent ripe. I just need to have some extra confirmation. If we can bounce here and bounce off, this kind of once I place it, one thousand. Once I place this trade, close my laptop. The market will make money for me while I'm sleeping. And for people who don't know how to trade. Their stop loss becomes my take profits. As they are getting stopped out, if they are transferring the money to my bank account, let that not be you. Let that not be you. Let that not be you. So the next pair I want to go over is Euro USD. Euro USD. The dynamics between Euro USD and AUD USD are pretty much the same, very similar. Just like AUD USD, I was expecting a. Um, um, no, let's go to the market conference. Guys, I want to give you a little cheat, a little cheat code. If you're ever doing an analysis and the candles are looking very plenty and confusing, very simple, just like this now. I'm trying to see what's happening, but the thing is looking like this, looking very small, minute, stressing me out. I don't know what's happening. All you need to do is come on a time frame higher. You can see how we have simplified everything. You can see how everything is so simple, but but the weekly was stressing my eyes out, okay? So that's exactly what... Give me a second, guys. Um, sir, I just got a text from me about Francis. Yeah, Francis, I got an email that he's been enrolled on the platform from the Forex Mastery. Mr. Francis, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Check your email. My Sarah is just telling me that uh, you have just paid for your Forex Mastery program. That's no problem. Um, check your email now. You should definitely have an email from our e-learning platform called Teachable. Go on there, digest the course. Absolutely amazing, you would love it. So Mr. Francis Apple, if you're watching this, um, you've got in confirmation of your um, enrollment. You should have access to the platform now. So yeah, back to what I was saying. Sarah, I've done, you should be enrolled on the platform now, don't worry. Yeah, back to what I was saying. So, uh, Sarah, you're confusing me. Let me forget. So back to what I was saying. So Euro USD and AUD USD. I was looking at the same. I was kind of let me delete all these lines so that I don't confuse you guys. I was pretty much thinking the same thing for for for, for both pairs. I'll tell you what. I was expecting this market to roll down and roll down here. I will break here and come lower. I was expecting this downtrend to continue. That was the plan when we did the analysis. We made some good profits here. But guys, the market just came shy of my overall targets. I just came, imagine it came here, turned back to the upside. So at that point, this is why um, I speak about this on the Forex Mastery. When it comes to locking in your profit, you need to take up 50% of your position. So because sometimes your analysis can be great, but the market doesn't want to go that en entire distance. Look, we did the analysis from here. 1.12 to 1.05. So you're looking at about maybe 260 to 300 pips, roughly. I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm, more than that. This is 1.10. 10 minus 4 is 600 pips. 600 pips. We're looking to bank 600 pips in here to get because everything was flowing pretty nicely, you know. Pull this, believe you me, these are pullbacks. Pullbacks, another pullback came to this pullback. Yeah, you know, I love pullbacks, especially when it's flowing. You know, there's pullbacks within a flow. Oh, see, the market is flowing here. The market is just pulling back, sell it, pull back, put it down. Yeah. That's what we're doing. We're bringing your USD down, down, down. But I noticed every time I bring it down, you always want to, you know, it was trying to come back. It was trying to come back every time I say, ah, zero USD is not giving up. Oh. Enter, enter the trade, you will give us profit and come back. I say, yeah, 
Anyways, what happened was I said this trade is this trade is this pair is not exactly giving up. And truth, as you can see, I eventually he decided he gave up and then he came down here. But guys, we came here very shy of my overall target, and then the market popped back up. So whatever we had made, we had to quickly lock in profit, take what we have. And this is what I always preach. If the market gives you something, be grateful. For, for some people have never seen a redrawal before in this industry. I'll take that again. Whatever Forest gives you, be grateful. For some people have never seen a redrawal in this market before. Good. So that's the, those are the rules I live by, right? So we got into the trade. You know, he was trying to do this. I said, I already knew that this guy, he said he's not correct. Anyways, we came here. And as the market started shooting back up, once I saw some bullish engulfing candles on like the daily, weekly, four hour, I said, I told my traders, I'm like, guys, lock in profit, lock in profit. This thing wants to act like, he wants to act mad, okay? Already Euro USD, had not, Euro USD was already annoying me because other pairs were giving me very clear directions like gold, AUD USD, GBP USD, but Euro was just acting a bit cuckoo. So I said, lock in profits. And then we came here and then we popped back up. I said, okay, you have popped, you have, I just, me, I thought maybe you wanted to come and test this level. Remember we go from zone to zone. So I said, okay, maybe he wants to come and talk to his babe. You understand? So yeah, have talked to your babe. Well, guy, come back down. He came here, stopped. Next thing I'm seeing green candles. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, Euro USD is trying to pass a message across. So when we try, try, try to analyze and we try to make sense of stuff and it's not making sense, is at this point I put my, I, I close my trading, close my lap, close everything. I move trading to one side. I'm like, why? Because everything that I'm used to seeing, I'm not seeing it. So that means the market wants to act irrational. It wants to act. It doesn't want to go according to principles of supply and demand. It wants to act irrational. And usually when the market wants to act irrational, it usually wants to change its trend, okay? When something wants to change, it starts acting irrational, starts behaving in one kind. So at that point, leave it alone so that it can now act irrational enough and then eventually it will now set for you as it has set for us right there. Let me see, the candle has set for us. Say, okay, we have broken here. Not only have we broken here, we broke here, closed. Open another candle, closed. Guys, you know the next level this year. I don't need to speak too much English, but that's fine. Let's, let's, let's see what we got. Now, apart from that, I have trend lines that I have drawn from the top. Now, the reason why even after we broke here, don't forget, we, had, we broke it since, we broke this level since. The reason why I didn't trade it was because of this trend line. Trend line was here. It broke the trend line. I still adjusted it again. Let me, let me explain what I'm talking about here. I still adjusted it up a little bit here. I adjusted it again. Still even gave it room, space. I still gave this guy space here to ensure that we have indeed cleared this trend line. Actually, that's a bit too much. Let me see to so ensure that we have indeed cleared this trend line. The last thing you want to do is to now say, okay, my trend line is here. Okay, it's close here. And then, but well, we've broken up now. So it's time to start buying. And then the market enters this trend line and sends the market back down. That's the last thing you want. That's why I always preach, trend lines must be drawn at what the week of the candles. You must draw the trend lines at the week of the what of the candles. So, that's exactly why I don't play, and especially if I'm trading on a higher time frame. Guys, you have to understand that on a very high time frame, like for instance, this is a monthly time frame. I like to ensure that I get everything right because the monthly is what decides the direction for me. This is this is the brain box. If I get this wrong, everything is right. Like math is like for those of you who wrote um, math in wrote G in the in the US is called G in the UK is called GCSE in Nigeria is called YEC. If you have one step wrong in mathematics, everything is scattered, done, don't forget. You can never arrive at that answer. Never, can never arrive at the correct answer. So this is the brain box of my entire analysis. So I would ensure that I leave no stones unturned. So at this point, you know, I, I try and adjust everything to make sure that we're touching all the weeks. And guys, how do you draw your trend lines? Join the most outermost points. If you want to draw another one inside, you can draw another one inside. There are, there are many that can even be drawn here. 
but I want the most out the most outcome, the ones that are touching the outcome most points. And then obviously, if I'm to actually draw this trend line properly, it should actually touch this guy here. If we're being honest, right? But the reason why I moved it up was to ensure that the market is not trying to play with my mind. You know, the market can be very anyways. Long story short, from what I can see, we have cleared. We have shark cleared. We have cleared, we have cleared the we have cleared the um we have cleared this area that was troubling us before. We have cleared here. Guys, guys, you US, I'm telling you here for free. Next level target 1.2400. You had it here first, aka that Willis, aka that for Willis. You had it right here on this new station. This is the first and foremost Forex news station coming to you live. If we can sustain about, above this current level as we speak, next level target will be 1.2400, okay? Why? Because the market moves from zone to zone, okay? From zone to zone. So let's just pray for dollar weakness. Let's pray something happens to, well, let's not pray something happens to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is my guy, He's my guy. So how do we get into this? How do we get into all of this? Let me delete this. We might most likely see it over. Same thing with uh, AUDUSD. Right now, we're currently trading here. Two things can happen, okay? These are the entries. So I'm expecting a pullback, okay? I'm expecting a what, a what, a pullback. If we pull back here, as we're about to start taking off again, voila, or sometimes the market will decide not to pull back. It will probably pull back into the base, into its base, which is here. Let me just delete this. Guys, I'm sweating profusely. Let me check how much battery I have left. I'm going to have to round up this strategy session now so I can take some questions. Uh, yeah, so this is the two forms you can use to enter this market. So this is what they call a range breakout entry. Okay, two things, two ways you can actually, I didn't do this properly. When you're doing range breakout, please try and accommodate the weeks of the candle so that you don't, you don't get false false, whatever it is. So ideally, I would like, ideally, I would like for us to pull down here before we want to take off. Okay. Ideally, you know, ideally, but you know, this market is never ideal. This market is never ideal. Let me see if I can draw a trend line from the bottom. You know, this market is never, is never an ideal situation with this market. Never. Okay, so that one, I don't like that trend line. Anyways, so ideally, I want this market to pull in here so we can take off. Um, right now, for those of you who are playing trading Euro USD, you see difference between me and day traders. I hate day traders. Let me just clear that point. I hate day traders. Why? See this yellow box that I've drawn right here. People, day traders, have been inside this yellow box since. 31st of July, trying to I buy, sell, buy, sell Euro USD. Whereas me, I've seen it as a box. So they are inside my box. But those of you that are Africans, I put them, day traders, I put day traders inside Calabash and I covered it. And I'm shaking them like this. They don't know anything. They are inside this range, trying to sell, trying to buy. The market is not going anywhere. As, for as long as we are inside, this yellow range, this yellow box, the market ain't going, you keep going up and down, up and down. We're inside a range. Now, the only way we can actually come out of, the only way I'm going to get it, so we have to break the range, we have to come out. When we come out, you know, I like to see bullish and golfing for our candles, pa, just see them, pa, candle close, buy. Taiwo, you know what I'm talking about. You know me, man, you know how we do this. Ty was one of my favorite students, my brother actually, my guy. He knows, he knows how to trade this. Calm down. Wait, don't see this. Bah, can buy. But for now, day traders, they will keep and they will keep losing money inside here. They don't know anything. Okay, guys, let's take some questions. So Euro USD, next level target 1.2400. The entries haven't exactly materialized yet. Don't worry as the weeks unfold. I'm back from holiday now. I'm back from holiday now. We're going to be here every week. It's either I'm doing a webinar or I'm doing a YouTube video. So watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. If you haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery Program, do yourself a favor and grab it. You'll be able to analyze 
just like me. You'll be able to see shit. Right, you'll be able to have a bird's eye view. You'll be able to have a Google Maps perspective of Forex market. All right, guys, let's jump into some questions. Let me see. Let me see. Funniest mentor I've ever seen. The Calabash got me. <laughs> I shake it down like this is why the Calabash. We have their yeah, destiny inside our Calabash. This is Calabash right here. Have it right here. Okay, guys, let's do. Let's do. Dev, Taiwo, shout out to you, boss. I don't. Um, boss, I no longer have access to my old emails for the mastery class. I would I would like to update my email as I've only I've, as I've done thirty two percent already. Fine, not a problem. Um, just send me and send an email to support at forex. Sarah, please type the email right. Support at forex mastery.com. Support. Let me type this here. Sarah, please type the support email. Support at no support at forex mastery.com. And you can send an email there, send a screenshot of the payment confirmation. Don't be, don't, don't be trying to be cheeky. We need to obviously, Sarah will definitely check, trust me. No, 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 that's not hyphen. Hyphen like this, let me write it. Support at forex-mastery.com. So the domain name is forex-mastery right there. So yeah. So you need to send a, a screenshot of your of your email, um, a confirmation. So Sarah, I'll check it off. If you've paid, trust me, if, you, if you're trying to be fast, Sarah, if you check, if you have not paid, she knows. She knows everybody that enrolled properly. So yeah, send her an email, send an email, she'll respond to you. And then she'll obviously enroll you on the new platform. We actually have a new platform right about now. So guys, shoot me with some questions. Okay, will, will you wait for a retest of the box before entry or after immediately? Well, it depends. So if I have a clear break, I'm not waiting for a retest. If the four hour has broken, bam, I'm buying. I'm buying. Because even if we pull back for a retest, that's fine. But I know that if we have a clear four hour break out of this box, I'm buying. Okay. I'm not seeing the email. Can you guys see the email? To all panelists, to all, to all panelists and attendees, sorry. All right, guys, so questions, while we're speaking about this, I want you guys to please go and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is um, Dapo Willis. Guys, we had somebody try to create a fake Dapo Willis page. It was absolutely very, very sad, very sad. Obviously, shout out to all my traders in the Forex Mastery Group. They shut down the account in two minutes, reported the guy down. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go and follow me right about now. I post trade updates, although I haven't really been posting there a lot because I've been really busy, but don't worry. I post a lot on there. And obviously I post a lot of flashy stuff. Yeah, I used to post a lot of flashy stuff, but because I've been so busy, didn't have time, but I'll be back to posting a lot of cool stuff. You know, you guys would like to see where, please. Instagram, Dapo Willis. Feel free to follow, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dapo Willis. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dap just type Dapo Willis. You guys will not, Mark, Macaulay Bukumi. Ooh. Bukumi used to be a friend of mine in Coventry. All right, guys, do we have any questions before I have to leave you guys? I hope I've been able to do justice to you, this, to break you down, make you guys understand it. You guys, if you've enjoyed the webinar, say I've enjoyed the webinar. If you've enjoyed it, say I've enjoyed it. If, you've been, if you didn't enjoy it, if there's any questions, did you guys like enjoy it? Did you like it? Do you want to see more of this? Tell me what you guys want. Please, sir, my question is not answered. What's your question, Mr. Stephen Femi? What's your question, Mr. Stephen Femi? What is your question? What is your question? What is your question? I really enjoyed it. You're welcome. I would, um, yes, the webinar was very insightful. You're welcome. Fantastic webinar. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, <clears throat> in about two weeks, a week or two weeks from now, when the setup is very ripe, we we'll take it up. We will trade it together. Trade it together, make some serious money together. Don't worry. You spoke about round numbers. Do every pair respond to round numbers? Mm, yeah. Well, 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 well. 
I'll tell you what I know. AUD USD loves round numbers from experience. Some pairs, they blow through round numbers like they don't exist. So I don't really like to use round numbers, except it's very glaring. So for me, what takes precedence is major levels. So I can plot a major level at about level 0 0 0.7780. 0 and I can see a round number close to it, which is 0 0.8000. I will approximate that level to the next round number. That's how I like to do it, okay? Yeah, uh, so that's exactly how I like to do round numbers, right? So I will first of all analyze my levels properly first. You want to learn how to analyze levels. Look left for expression after the program and have that. Once you put your levels, if you see a round number close to it, very, you have to be very like within maybe 150 pips close to it. Just approximate it there, and then you're pretty much good to go. When the setup is ready, where would you get notified, sir? For example, um, no, the, once the setup is, yeah, of course, I'll definitely tell you guys in the group. You have no, no issues about that. Do you think it's, res, it's possible to respect that trend line? Um, Chao, do you think it's possible to respect that trend line to the next zone of our definitely test the zone? Is it for AUD USD? What channels? Um, the Forex Millionaire um, Telegram channel. Join that. Ty, what pair are we talking about? Guys, I'm going to have to leave you now. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Quick, quick, quick. My laptop is about to go off. Talk to me. Actually, I should charge it. To get Forex Mastery course, kindly join. Oh, that's sorry. All right, that boy. Is the webinar being recorded? Yes, you can watch it on my YouTube channel. I don't want to turn the light on. Someone said I should turn the lights on. I don't want to turn the lights on because then I look very dark, something like that. Let's, let's make use of the last little bit of what's left of the natural lighting left. Okay, I like my face looking brown, not black. Hello, sir. Michael Sunday, hi. Um, is, it for, is the webinar being recorded? Yes, so I'm going to be on my YouTube channel. Um, please, what should I look out for when trying to get a laptop for Forex trading? Guys, guys, when it comes to looking for laptops, just get anything. People always stress about what laptops should get. My mom always stress about, oh, her laptop needs to have this visual card, oh, this, that. Was this laptop good for this? I'm like, mom, just get a laptop. And yeah, so you can get any laptop as long as you can load the browser, Google Chrome. It don't have, doesn't have to be very expensive. When you want to get a laptop, ensure that you have at least four gigabyte of RAM and at least a hundred gigabyte of hard drive. No, hundred is too small. Get like 250. 300, 500, 400 gigabyte hard drive, and that's fine. Um, so yeah, any laptop is fine. HP, HP, four gig RAM, one of the new ones, maybe three years old. As in produced three years ago, not like somebody's used it before, three years old, two years old, it's fine. The most important thing is, you know, the RAM, the, the whole thing can load up charts. You're pretty much good to go. Don't stress yourself. Don't spend too much money on, on stuff like that, okay? Uh, Howard, just tell me the, the name of the... Thanks so much, you're welcome. Please, my questions have not been answered. Who is this, Mr. Kelechi? What's your, what's your question? Can you use MT4 on PC instead of TradingView because TradingView isn't free after this month? No, TradingView is free. Free, free. We'll figure a way around it. Let me tell you how to get free TradingView. Sign in with your social media account. Sign in with Facebook. You went to check for their packages. Sign in with your Twitter. See, when it says, oh, you want to create an account. No, sign in with Twitter. Sign in with Facebook. That's how you get free trading views for life. I've been using trading view for free for the past 2015. Four years now. So we only need to pay for that. Guys, let me tell you, when you want to start off all these things, a lot of resources are free. You just need to know, like, the things you should spend money on are things like education. But when it comes to tools, tools, like trading, like you don't need to buy any indicators. No, all the indicators you need are free. What you want to pay for is the mindset to, to know how to connect everything together. You know, trading view free, MT4, you don't need to pay for all that stuff. MT4, I hate using MT4 for my analysis. What do you think about, what, why don't you talk about, why don't you talk about NFT? Because NFT is a distraction. Guy, I just gave you a two, one, I give you 1,000 pips into the future. What do you think NFT is going to do? My trading will crush NFP. NFP is 50, 60 pips. 
child's play shit. NFP is just there to distract people to brokers love NFP. That's why I say I need to buy a brokerage firm. Brokers love NFP. Why? Because they got people trying to buy, sell, blah, 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 blow their account. My first $800, I scattered it to NFP. <laughs> Don't trade NFP. Come and look for ways to how to trade long term um, plays like 1,000 pips into the future. It's less stressful. But I know some people here gamble. Well, let me tell you guys, I'm going to leave you with this. There's a very thin line between trading and gambling. Very thin line between, I think, very thin line between trading and gambling. And unfortunately, a lot of people are using Forex to gamble, which is really bad. You know, you have the analysis, please. So which trading tool did you use? Trading view. How do you consider your stop loss when trading from four hour time frame? Check one-to-one -one module on Forex Mastery. Mr. Toshiko, I believe you're a member of the Forex Man. You have the course. I speak about it there. I mean, the trading tools you use to analyze the market. Um, I speak about this on the best trading software and the Forex Mastery program. Guys, I'm running out of time, so I'm trying to tell people where to go and find these answers to these questions. All right, thanks. Yeah. Um, so Toshiko, check. I speak, there's a class that I speak about entries and exits on the one-to-one -one class. I literally tell the guy, this is where I put my stop loss and this is where I take out my profit, okay? How do you consider stop loss and also that, which trading tool do you use? Um, Mr. Sheriff, check best trading software. I speak about um, how to set up all the tools to look like mine, LMAO, Euro USD analysis, please. David, bless it. Come on, where you been, man? I've been shouting Euro USD since. This is it, it's in front of you. It's in front of you. Don't stress me, please. Don't stress me. Please don't stress me. Sorry if you didn't catch it, Mr. David. Um, check my YouTube channel. Watch watch the, the, the whole thing over again, and then you're definitely going to get it. It was the name of the trading software you used. Oh my God, it's called Trading View, man. It's not a software, it's called Trading View. My question sir, is how can we handle drawdowns when we don't have much account size? How do you handle drawdowns? Personally, when I'm trading, Maximum drawdown I can have. You see, let me tell you guys, when it comes to, you see this, I'm not asking any more questions. Let me leave you guys with this thing I want to tell you guys right about here. If you notice, for those of you guys who are on the Forex Mastery Program, right after you pay for the Forex Mastery Program, I speak about the Forex Millionaires Program. The reason why I put that there is for this reason. Guys, it is very difficult to make a lot of money from trading, to even become highly successful in trading with a small account size is very difficult. I've tried it before. And don't think, some people are like, oh, his strategy doesn't work for small accounts. The indicator strategy will blow your account, your small account, a lot faster and a lot quicker than my, my, in fact, you stand a better chance using my strategy to trade your smaller account size than even that uh, signal of 30 minutes time from you. But anyways, that's by the way. I always advise, Use the small one you have, grow it a little bit, and then take on funds from investors. Because my trading really literally changed a lot when I started to take on funds. Guys, you can't take $500 to $50,000. It's not possible. You know what? I'm going to say this round tomorrow. You know what? You know what? Sarah, I'm going to have a Facebook Live tomorrow. I, I, I'm going to ask some more questions. Do you have a plan for trade signal? Guy, guy, don't be asking me about trade signals. Come on, you can hear me saying that all these signals and indicators don't work. You are still asking me, please don't, you're going to make my blood pressure rise. I have no plans for trade signals, I'm sorry. Is it recommendable to analyze one week time frame and execute? Yes, yes. Monthly, one week, daily. What trading app do you use and how much, uh, how much can someone use to trade? Start off with $1,000. Good, good way to start. $1,000 for a trading account is good. So is it advisable to trade monthly candles on a small account? You're not trading the monthly candles. You're using monthly to analyze. You come on the four hour to execute. Just because you're going to bank 1,000 pips. See, the idea is you're looking to 1,000 pips into the future, but your stop loss is still going to remain 30 to 40 pips. So you're still trading like you're trading smaller time frames. The only difference is you have seen where the market is going to. 
So you still you can still use your lower time frame strategy to trade, but it must flow in the same direction that the monthly has told you. So yes, you can use it from, from your small account, definitely. Simple, analyze, do the higher time frame analysis. Have it, it's saying up, come on you, whatever strategy you are using and trade in that up direction and hold it till monthly says you should come out. Done. Which brokerage would you recommend, please? Um, please answer my question, no. Mr. Kelechi, I'm not answering your question. Ah, what's the problem? What kind of app do you use to trade? I use trading, I use MetaTrader 4. MetaTrader 4 for my execution, trading a big now. <laughs> Okay, ask me again, type the question again. Just copy and paste it so that I can see. And I don't have energy to scroll back up. I, I have $200, feel free to trade it $200. Just use the same strategy that I'm teaching you here and you can definitely grow it. Brokerage, please. I use TO Markets and FX Primers. TO Markets and FX Primers. I'll do uh, an entire webinar about choosing your broker. TO Markets and FX Primers. But Mr. Michael, you sound like you're from Nigeria. You guys are having a lot of issues with your cards at the moment. So uh, you might want to stick with a home-based broker like Hot Forex, although I don't really like Hot Forex, but I hate Hot Forex. Um, but I think that's the option you have now. I'll speak to the guys at FX Primal so that they can find a way to provide solutions to people in Nigeria. Um, but yeah, for now, I use FX Primal and Steel Markets. For um, NARA-based deposits, I think Hot Forex is good. Can you start all over? I did not get you well. I should start all over from where? <laughs> S boy, you're killing me, man. S boy. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Mr. Kelechi said he has a question for me. Let me see. Captain John, how do we handle swap charges for holding rates for weeks? It's just that's how brokers make money. Swap rates, um, swap rates, all of that, pay, um, commissions. That's how they make money. You can't avoid it. I'm from Nigeria. What app is recommended? MetaTrader for and trading view. Trading view for your analysis. MetaTrader for for your MetaTrader for, for your um, execution. So like I've done my analysis here and let's say I can see it's ready to buy. I'll just go on my MetaTrader for and just click buy. For us on Forex, oh, yeah, is very good. On the Forex Mastery course, you have preferential treatment. Don't worry yourself. If you're on the Forex Mastery course, just ask me the question in the group chat. I'll answer you there. If you're on the Forex Mastery Call, that means you have access, you can see me, send me a private message, I'll answer you. No, no, don't stress yourself. My Forex Mastery students, I love every single one of you. I hold you guys here, okay? I will keep on updating the platform and I'll, any question you have, I will answer them. Guys, I have to go now. So you promised me Forex sentiments. Femi, Olua, Stefan, Femi, Olua, Femi, Stefan, your boy. Send me a message, bro. Send me, I got you, I got you. Whatever it is, send me a message. Guys, I'm tired. I wanna go spend time with my family. It's been amazing hanging out with you guys for the past two hours. Guys, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll catch you guys. I'm gonna have a Facebook Live tomorrow or Sunday. I'll see you guys there. Um, don't forget the analysis. If you want to watch this again, head over to the YouTube channel. It is going to be there. All right, cool. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys. I'll shoot them soon, blah, 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 done. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy, stay blessed, stay sanitized. I love every single one of you, man. Take it easy. Uh, more pips to your bank account. Cheers and goodbye. Oh my God, let me see, do I have questions here? All right, cool, bye.